Hey, welcome back everyone. This is J-Dog, J-Dog's DVD Dungeon. This is the weekly show part two for Saturday, February 28th, 2009. Thank you all for tuning in and watching, giving the show a watch, supporting the cause. Appreciate that. But this is part two, and like always, I'm going to have my DVD selections. A few things I picked up since the last video. I think it's been 10 days or so since I made a video. And I picked up 16 DVDs in that time, so... Eh, this might take us a little while to get through all these. Hope you guys all can bear with me and enjoy what I have to show you. Got a mixed bag. Not a whole lot for horror this week, actually. I couldn't really find a lot. So I bought... I got a little bit of everything from uh, musicals to war movies. I got some science fiction. A oh, little bit of some classic comedy science fiction. A, little bit, a lot of 80s stuff. Got some uh, classic Clint Eastwood. I picked up a bunch of that. So, I don't know. We're going to get started. Uh, a little bit of sci fi that I picked up. This would be uh, the Renegade Edition, Special Edition 2 disc of Highlander 2. So, you got Sean Connery and uh, Christopher Lambert on the cover there. You got Lambert played the character of uh, Connor McLeod and. Uh, Connery, he was, oh, I can't remember the first name, but Ramirez is what I call him because his fucking name was too long to remember. But anyway, this kind of doesn't really even pick up where the first one left off. Like, this movie compared to the, I've watched the first three, this one's quite a bit different than the other two. Like, uh, I don't know, in the first one, it seems the Highlanders are just, uh, these people have been, these immortals that have been roaming the planet since the beginning of time is what they make it sound like. But yet in part two, it's all they're like aliens from another planet, and uh, like Connor McLeod was a renegade that was fighting against the establishment, sort of, and he was banished along with a bunch of others to the Earth, like to live as immortals and to roam the Earth forever and fight each other as, in sword fights, and eventually in the end, only one would remain. And that one, he'd be either he'd either have a choice to live his life out on Earth and grow old, be mortal after that, or return back home, like forgiven for whatever he did. So yeah, it's a little different. It's uh, I didn't mind it. It's got some good effects. Like I can't remember the guy that played the bad guy in this, uh, Michael Ironside. That's who it was. He did not a bad job. Like not nearly as good as uh, Clancy Brown did in Part One playing the Kurgan, but. Yeah. All in all, I didn't mind this movie. I enjoyed it. Had a few uh, good sword fights, like classic Highlander decapitation scenes and stuff. I don't know if you're a fan of the Highlander series. I suggest you check it out. That's two disc. That's put out by Dimension, uh, or I think it was Dimension that put it out. No, this one was Lionsgate actually. My mistake. It's the other two I have to show you that were Dimension. Anyway, Highlander two. Check it out if you like it. Next one I'm going to show you, sticking with the whole Highlander thing. Yeah, I picked up uh, a few of them. I'm a fan of the series, so we have the special director's cut of Highlander 3, The Final Dimension. As you see on the cover, you got uh, Mario Van Peebles. He's uh, taking up the role of villain in this one. And you got Christopher Lambert. I don't know, I got made it through about half of this last night. It was actually pretty good. I didn't mind it. Like, had some good, uh, decent backstory, like to where... Uh, character of Connor McLeod uh, got his samurai sword which I thought from the first one he got it from Ramirez but hey that's just what I'm taking from the first these uh, sequels don't really follow the first movie too much but yeah it's like Mario Van Peebles and a couple other Highlanders at the beginning they uh, track down McLeod at, he's uh, hiding out in this cave with this I can't remember the name but he's a Japanese sorcerer and he's teaching McLeod, like, the art of illusion and making him a sword, training him, which I thought he was trained by Ramirez, according to the first one, but anyway. But yeah, these, uh, like, the three evil Highlanders track them down, but Lambert escapes, and, uh, like, the old Japanese guy, I can't remember his name, he ends up uh, collapsing the cave, burying these guys and trapping them until it would be thousands of years later, uh, be like a, a excavation kind of uncover it and they start doing an archaeological dig and well, you got the three Highlanders escape and they go back to New York City like uh, 
where the whole uh, gathering took place in the first one, and track Lambert down. You get sword fights, uh, decapitation scenes, again, that the Highlander movies are famous for. And I can't really say much more, because like I said, I only watched half of it, so I'd be uh, giving you an unfair review. But I didn't mind it. Check it out, once again, if you're into the Highlander movies. Pretty sure, yes, this one was put out by Dimension, so... It's not that expensive. I picked it up on eBay for like 11 bucks. so... Yeah, it's Highlander 2. And here we go once more with the Highlander. I have Highlander 4. Still haven't opened this one yet. This is Highlander 4 Endgame. This is the Extreme 2-disc collection. I know it's, uh, according to the cover, this is the exclusive new cut from the producers of the original Highlander, so... Not really sure what that means. I gotta do a little research into this, like... Did the original producers just do part four to begin with? Or did they come back and uh, kind of re-edit like re it and stuff because they didn't like what the, produce, what the new producers did? That's what I need to find out. But anyway, according to the cover, what they did uh, with, the, with the new cut, it says it has more action. I don't know what this is all about. More steamy scenes. Like, uh, this is a Highlander movie, so... Um, I'm not really concerned about steamy love scenes and stuff, like, unless they're talking about a sword fight in a sauna, according to steamy scenes, I don't really give a fuck, because, yeah, I want to see guys fighting with the swords and, like, all that good science fiction action going on. That says all new ending as well, so, once again, i never seen it, so I can't say anything about the old ending, who knows, it must have been shitty, I guess, if they decided to make a new ending, but, yeah, this is... It's kind of a weird DVD. I want to track down the other version of Part 4 just to kind of compare, because I don't think that has one in here. But a lot of special features. It's a two-disc. I want to watch it. I think it's got uh, Adrian Paul is the, is the other character, along with Christopher Lambert in this, so we'll check it out. There's another shot of the cover. It's Highlander 4 Endgame. It's the ultimate two-disc collection. This is put out by Dimension as well. And that's it with the Highlander movies. I didn't pick up part five. I know what's out there. I'm eventually get it, I guess, just to complete the collection. But this is something I got uh, sent to me from the guys at deadpit.com. I've been waiting for this one for a while. This is a special edition of My Bloody Valentine. Cross your heart and hope to die. <laughs> I like the cover. It's not, not like the original one, but hey, it's not bad. It's better than the one that was put out a couple years ago. This includes uh, never-before-seen deleted footage, which has been added into the movie. And it's not it's not just a special feature. So, as you watch the movie, you'll see like the scenes that were cut out of it to begin with, like the old M MPA in the '80s. They were cutting everything. You couldn't get any of the gore through. So, it's nice with these uh, uncut uh, and these director's cuts and stuff that come out. They can kind of mix the gore back in. But a lot of times the footage doesn't really match up, so you can tell where the old footage came in. But hey, like my Silent Night, Deadly Night, I'm happy to have that, just with all the uncut footage. I haven't watched this yet. It has a lot of special features. Like, from what I hear, like, there's a lot of good buzz when this came out. I won this uh, tagline trivia on the Dead Pit blog chat. So it was free. Happy to have it. i got to get into it one of these nights. got way too much shit in the pile to watch. That's my bloody Valentine. Uh, who did put that out? It was put out by Lionsgate and Paramount. So pick it up, check it out. Classic Canadian slasher. But me being Canadian and stuff kind of does an injustice to all of us because these are Newfies. These are uh, Newfoundland Canadians. They have a way different accent. They're a lot goofier than we are for the most part, but they're uh, they're good people. I know them. I know a few of them. So yeah, this is my bloody Valentine. Newfoundland actors. Shot somewhere in uh, eastern Canada. Check it out. But I'm almost running out of time here. I've got a lot more DVDs to go through, but I'm only allowed a certain amount of time on my YouTube videos. So this is uh, J Dog for J Dog's DVD Dungeon. Thanks for watching. This is part two of the weekly show, 2008, uh, February 28th. And yeah, stay tuned. Part three will be up in a minute, and I'll go through with the rest of the DVDs I picked up. Peace.